Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Today we're doing a massive Sephora haul. This is going to be a very like casual chatty video. I will probably do some swatches as well. So if you're my skin tone, then definitely stay tuned. I know this is many weeks after the sale, but I still wanted to do this haul and show you guys everything I got because I'm so excited about all these new products on the market. So let's get right into it and we'll start with lips because I have nothing on my lips and it's driving me insane. So I wanted to swatch some things for you guys. Let's start with these. One thing about me, I cannot leave Sephora without a new lip liner and it's so bad. I feel like I'm always buying more like brown lip shade. This time I definitely went for more like pinky colors. So we have a lot to show you guys. Um, starting off with this lip liner. This is from Sephora Collection. During their sales, Sephora Collection is always like 30% off, which is so good. I could have totally spent like two hours just like watching everything in Sephora collection. The quality of their products is insane and you definitely should not sleep on it. This is the Rouge Gel Lip Liner and it's so creamy, you guys. This color is Rosewood and it's more of like a mauve pink brown. Can you see that? Yeah, so pretty. So I think I'm gonna go in with this on my lips. I need a little bit of color. It's kind of like that perfect like brown pinky pinky color recently I've been taking my finger and just like smudging it out instead of like I just like to smudge it with my finger and I feel like it looks just like more seamless because it just stays on the outer corner and then Let's see. I got this lipstick from uh, Too Faced, right? Too Faced? I don't remember the last time I bought something from Too Faced, to be honest. Um, but this is what this color looks like. It almost is pretty similar, but I feel like this one's definitely more cool tone, and it is in the color Ganache. So let's see what it looks like on top. Okay, so pretty. And then if we want a gloss, which I feel like I don't right now, I love this one. And then I actually just got this one from House Lab. So this is more of like a lip oil and it's kind of a crazy color, but it doesn't come off like that on your lips. This color is in secondary. Again, a lip oil, very hydrating, but if you want something that's hydrating and makes your lips plump and just like tingly, this is your guy. This is the Milk Makeup. Uh, electric glossy lip plumper in the color buzzed i had this a while ago from pr and i lost it i don't know where the hell it went but i lost it and i was literally going insane because this is like my favorite lip gloss at the moment and the color is just so good it's like i mean obviously it's sheer but it just like kind of gives you a little bit of color so i love to put maybe just like a brown lip liner and then this on top it is so perfect and then this I found at Sephora. I usually like to go in the stores during the Sephora sale and then swatch everything in person, write down all my colors, add it to my Sephora cart while I'm in the store, and then I go and purchase online because the line is always so long that it's never worth it to wait for me. Um, but I found this when I was in the store, and this is the Rare Beauty um matte lip cream in the color kindness and this actually reminds me a lot of the nyx matte lip creams i'm pretty sure that's what it was called um but look how freaking stunning this color is it is perfect for my skin tone like a little pink and i like the feeling of it too because it stays on a really long time especially if i don't wear any gloss next let's do everything i got for eyes i bought a lot of new makeup brushes because I feel like, you know, it's about damn time. Like, I feel like I never get new makeup brushes. So I got a bunch of Sephora Collection ones because, again, it was 30% off, so I had to. Um, so I got crease brush, two crease brushes, actually, and then one shadow brush. So it's more like a little flat edge instead of the crease brushes, which are obviously a lot fluffier. And then this one is this a Sephora? Okay, yeah, this one's a Sephora one, too. Um, but it's just the number 24 brush and so it looks like just more of like a fluffy brush but smaller um, so I'm excited to finally use those I feel like half the stuff I wanted to keep in the boxes just for this haul and so I haven't really used a lot of this stuff which is kind of just stupid of me um, but 
let's do some more Sephora collection swatches because I'm just like so shocked by the quality of like all of them. Um, so I found these little eyeshadow eyeliner guys. This one is the Ultimate Gel Eyeliner and it's waterproof. Look at the swatch guys. It's like this green color, olive glitter. Look how pretty that is. I definitely want to try to do like a smudged out look with this. And then I feel like this is pretty much the same thing. I don't know why I got it in two different colors. Sorry, the lighting is going crazy because in Austin, these past two weeks, it's been so annoying. It says it's going to rain every single day and then maybe like rains like for two seconds and then the whole day is sunny. And I'm just like, just just be honest with us. Like, I just want to know if it's going to actually like downpour like they said it was going to. But whatever. Anyways, this is the Sephora Collection um, shadow and liner. So I guess it's pretty much the same. Is it the same color? No, this is in khaki. So let's see if it's actually very similar right next to each other. Hmm. Okay, no. I feel like they're a good bit different. But the pigment these give is kind of insane. And just wait until you guys see this one. So I don't go too crazy with my eye looks because I just feel like I like to do everyday looks. And whenever I do something crazy, it never looks that great. But I saw this blue eyeliner and then I swatched it and I was like, oh my God. Immediately I started looking up like Pinterest looks with blue eyeliner because I wanted to do something so bad with this. Look at the pigment on this. Like what the heck? I still don't really know exactly what to do with this, but I've seen a lot of people put like blue eyeliner under their eyes or like on their waterline, which I think would be really cool. Even the green would be really pretty under my eyes, which I might do that like right after this video. And I don't wanna like mess anything up, you know, cause I feel like my makeup looks really good, but I also want to like look cool. I feel like if there's anywhere to do a cool eye makeup look, it's at a beauty event. So maybe I'll try it out. Um, but this next one is again, Sephora collection. This is the long wear liquid eyeshadow in the color Vibrant. And I use this on my lids today. Um, and I just use like the tiniest amount and like blended it out so it's not like super super pigmented because i blended it out so so much but here is it swatched these are like such amateur swatches so i'm sorry about that but like look at the shine on that it's so pretty and i love these like bronzy colors one of my favorite favorite people to go to for makeup inspo is jasmine tukes she used to be a victoria's secret model and she has this gorgeous deep bronze glowy skin and her eye looks are always so simple um which actually segues me in perfectly to the next product because this is why i got this one um but basically she just does this like really simple brown like almost like a matte or a wet glossy look and this is why i got this product this is the house labs pigment which these also blew me away so let me show you guys what this looks like on i'm just gonna like put a little bit of a dot and then we're gonna blend it out with my finger and look how much pigment and how much product is there wow i love liquid eyeshadows like this when you want something like more dramatic but you don't have a lot of time because you can just blend it out really really quick and then just like go over with a brush and some powder just to like blend it out and it is perfect it just gives you a little bit of something on your eyelids this is another one of those house lab pigments this is in the color um copper shimmer i don't think i told you guys what the other color was it is cocoa matte but let's swatch this one because this one's a fun one. It's like a shimmer color. Oh my god. I already know that was way too much. Yikes. Okay, let's do it. When blending them out, this definitely felt like a lot drier to blend out. Obviously, this is a little bit more glossy but this is gonna be so pretty on the eyelids too. It's definitely a lot more color than I am used to because I feel like I definitely go for the more like shimmery bronze shades instead of like a peachy pink, but I'm excited to try it out. Let me go wash all this off and then we're gonna get into face products. I really tried hard to scrub my hand, but that little eyeliner will not come off Obviously, I think it was waterproof, so that now makes a lot of sense. Um, but that leads us into the first face product that I got. This was in the Sephora store when I was trying to like find, 
you know, solution to like wipe my whole hand off. And this was the only thing that worked really, really well. So I guess this is the perfect time to show you guys. Like this literally would not come off me. So here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> there it goes. Done. It's pretty much like a waterproof. Yeah, waterproof eye makeup remover. This is insane. I don't use it every night because I don't wear like waterproof makeup, but if there's ever a time I'm really struggling with getting off my eye makeup, this is just so easy because then you don't really have to like scrub your eyes and make them all irritated. So this stuff is so freaking good. And I got the mini bottle just so it's perfect for travel. I'm really into getting mini size products right now because it's an easy way to try the product, number one. Number two, it's way cheaper. Number three, it's just so cute and it's easy to travel with. So next up is the one size mattifying waterproof setting spray. I got two setting sprays because I just could not choose. Everyone on TikTok was saying this was good. And then I've got some recommendations for the hourglass. And you'll notice a lot of the things I got were hourglass products because I never really have tried a lot of their stuff. It's very expensive. I feel like it's definitely on the higher end of like the Sephora products and just like the brands in general. This is the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. And I feel like all of Hourglass's products really make you get that glow from within. So that's why I was like so excited to try all of their products. Finally got my hands on the Say Beauty Glowy Super Gel. Guys, it was such a struggle to find this thing, especially in the color that I wanted because I got sun glow. I obviously didn't want the lighter color because that just would not look good on my skin, but this is the first time I'm trying this. Let's do it. I'm actually going to a Say Beauty event tonight, so I could only imagine how many of these little things that they're going to have there when I spent so long like trying to get it on my own. Oh, <laughs> it literally sprayed all over me. Lovely. Okay, I already love it. Like that on my actual face is going to be stunning. Kind of pissed I didn't do this yesterday, so I could have used this for my look today for the event, but I am wearing a Say Beauty blush. Where is it? Okay, yes, here it is. I just got the blush. I've heard so many good things about this, um, and it is in the color Dreamy. It was really hard to decide on which color to get because I was wanting them all, obviously, but I was like, you know what? You really don't need all of the blushes, especially because I got another blush I'll show you guys in a second, but this is the swatch for that Say blush. And it's really blendable, which I really like. I'm wearing it today. I feel like the light, you can't really see the blush. And blush kind of like disappears really fast, for me at least. Um, but let me show you guys, where did it go? I got the Patrick Ta blush that's been so highly talked about. I feel like all over TikTok. Yeah, TikTok right now is like my current news source. So unfortunately I'm going to say I haven't heard of it from TikTok, but this is the Patrick Ta um, Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. And I'm so excited to try his technique because he was saying that you should put the um, powder blush on first and then overlay it with the cream blush, which I thought was so interesting. And I have to try it for myself. So very, very excited for this. Let's swatch at least. Well, let's swatch both, I guess. And just put it on our fingers. This cream blush just feels like, you know when your mom had those makeup kits that were kind of like this and they just felt like really creamy? Okay, that's really pretty. But it honestly looks like exactly like the, wait, shoot. It's very similar. I kind of hope they're different. <laughs> I'm like, oops. Well, you can see that I'm very gravitated towards this kind of a color, um, but yeah, that's stunning. I really like that. I absolutely did not need to get this because I just got that Say Glowy Gel, but the Refi one is also new and I really wanted to see what Old Hype was about from this one. Like literally TikTok is ruining my life. It's ruining my bank account. So love that for me. This is in the color Topaz and it has more of like a thick texture. So I feel like, I don't know if I would put this all over my face. I think I would just put it like literally on my like cheekbones where you'd usually put highlighter if i had to choose i think i definitely would prefer the say glowy gel because i like the color that it's giving i can't remember if this comes in multiple colors if this is the lighter version but it definitely has more of like a like a light 
you can even see it, yeah. And this one still has that Say Beauty. And it's like more, um, just like skin-like, you know? And this one's like very dramatic. And like I said, I like everyday makeup looks the most, so. Okay, this is something I was really excited about and I've already tapped into it because I could not wait. This is the Say Sun Melt in Deep Bronze. I had to get another color of this because I got the one below it, which I can't remember. I think it might have been Tan Bronze and it like really wasn't showing up on my skin and I was on TikTok Live actually doing my makeup trying this out and someone was like, I actually had to like exchange the tan bronze for the deep bronze because it wasn't showing up on my skin. So it inspired me to exchange mine too because I didn't want it to like sit in my drawer and waste money on it. So this is what it looks like. I mean, obviously you can tell um, the color, but it just like blends out so well. Obviously with the beauty blender or brush, it would probably do better, but I really like this product. I've been using it for some time now. I finally caged and got the hourglass concealer because I'm obviously on an hourglass kick right now and so I wanted to try this out. I have it on my eyes today. I really like it. I got a couple of colors in the concealer. So I got flax which I feel like is not light enough for my preferences. I really like it to be like really bright and light. So right now I'm wearing dune under my eyes. Flax is like the step up. I also got maple which is a step up from flax. Um, but I think that flax actually can cover my blemishes when I don't wear makeup. I think it's like my true skin tone. My body is this tan, like it is a good match when I'm wearing makeup, but my face is really, really pale if I don't wear makeup. So this is perfect for just like covering up those blemishes. I did go ahead and order some hourglass brushes. Starting off with this one, I don't know if it has like a name on it, but I'm guessing it's a concealer brush. I've never really had a concealer brush and this one is so soft. And then, ooh, yay, we got a duo brush that I'm not really sure what this side is. Let's see if it says it. Powder brush. Yay, okay, I'm excited about this. I have not like gotten a new powder brush in at least a couple years, so, and I'm really bad at freaking washing my brushes. This one is the lighting edit brush. I have one of their palettes, Hourglass palettes, and like the ambient lighting palette, I believe. And I feel like this is going to be perfect for applying like just like those beautiful highlights again that glow from within. Might as well just get Hourglass out of the way. I have the Vanish Airbrush Primer. My friend Katherine Lockhart, she is on TikTok and she does a lot of beauty videos because she is an ex Sephora employee so she knows her shit and I trust her. She said this is a game changer for just like the base of your makeup to make it look really really beautiful. So this is the Vanish airbrush primer and it feels so good when I swatched it on my hand it felt so great so I'm very excited to start using that in my routine and then I've already been using this powder I don't know like I feel like I've been trying a lot of powders I still feel like I'm getting cakey and I think my favorite powder ever is probably number one the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder I never can say that so I always go so slow then I also like the Huda Beauty powder in is it banana bread? I think it might be banana bread. That one's really good. But I just feel like powders lately have been making me feel so, so cakey, even though I do like the lightest, lightest layer. So maybe I need to look up like a new technique on how to do that because something's, something's going wrong. Okay, this next thing is so cool. And I had to also exchange this color. I had a lighter color, but I just got this new one in from Sephora because I just ordered it online. I'm hoping it matches. I think... It should match because I'm going to get darker over the summer too. I have not gone to the pool at all, so I'm definitely going to be a lot darker than this. Um, but basically, this is like a beauty balm. Like, let's see what it is actually called. Um, it's called the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. So basically, it feels like a balm and then it almost turns into a powder when you are applying it. Like, it is insane. And the coverage is really good and it just feels very interesting. If you have been watching me for a while, I always tell you guys that my favorite foundation probably ever, well at least in my top five, is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Foundation. I feel like I've mentioned that line at least three times this video, but that is one of my favorite foundations. The only thing is that that foundation is so heavy, so I love it in the winter time, but currently I just don't know if it's like the best thing to wear because it's already getting so hot here in Texas that I know I'm going to be like sweating it off and it will look cakey. 
so usually it doesn't but like when it's like obviously sweating off my face it's gonna look horrible so I really am trying to opt for like lighter foundations like this. So obviously it'll be great for when I'm in a rush and just like want to throw something on really quick. But it's also going to be really good for just like a lighter foundation day. Maybe if I want to put makeup on for like a pool day, this would be perfect. I've never seen this brand before. Um, DM, I know that's not the full name but I'm not really sure what the full name is actually. Last but not least, we have the Paula's Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This has been all over my For You page, so you already know I had to get it because I wanted to see what all the hype was about. I really need to look over the directions on how to use this and maybe like Google it too um, because I've heard so many people say that this did not work great for their skin and then other people say it's life-changing. So I'm a little worried about that because I feel like I don't really need anything life-changing, but I wanted to try to like smooth out any like bumps. I feel like I get so many whiteheads around my nose and my chin, and I just wanted to see if this could do that. So we're gonna give it a shot and I'll keep you guys updated on the vlog. So that concludes this massive Sephora haul. I had such a fun time just like chatting. I feel like this is a very casual video and I need to do more of these because like the words were just rolling off my tongue. I feel like you can't even tell me to stop talking now, but I will end this video here and make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you guys are not already. And I'm on TikTok and Instagram, so go follow me on both of those. I'm very active on both. So I'll see you guys over there and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.